This video is to demonstrate the grid window in the creation of live loops in Logic Pro 10.5. As you can see, my quick sampler instrument is on this track and my drum machine designer instrument is on this track. I also included the drum synth. You'll notice there are numbers in a row at the bottom edge of the project window. These numbers denote scenes and each scene is responsible for the column of cells lying vertically and directly above it. So let me play how everything sounds like so far. Now my mission is to add two or three other items to complete this project. Uh, the first one I think should be vocal steps. So I shall bring in an audio track and I will select the parameters within which I want to record this little vocal jab. So I want it to take multiple takes and I want it to continue recording once it's finished going through the length of the cell. And in this case, I'll create a cell and the cell length is four bars. Okay, let's do it. I should have gotten two takes out of this. As you can see, number two. I'll unpack them to a new track. So in effect, I've kind of dubbed my harmony all in one go. I'll isolate just the vocal tracks. Uh. to put some reverb on it or a mild delay perhaps let's do a mild delay yeah that works for me let's make it 14 percent just to round the sound off a little bit so it's not so raw Let me add a new track and it will be a software instrument. Let's utilize ES2 for this. Let's call it a synth riff and I'm going to make it a pattern cell and I will choose a lead sound to create this riff with. How about fresh R&B? Okay, let me open this pattern cell to get to my step editor and you will notice there's this hidden panel here which reveals patterns and templates ripe and ready for you to use. I shall go with the melodic pattern and choose music box. You'll see notes of a melody already inserted for your benefit. You can change it if you like. I shall stick with what I've been given. a delay just to sweeten it up a bit and let's hear everything in context. There's 
there's another line I'd like to have, and that would be a bass line. I think that would be quite cool. Let's make something really easy, shall we? Let's pick a funk synth bass. Yes. All right, let's create a MIDI cell. Let's look at the recording parameters. Okay, everything looks good to me. Let's give it a shot. So we've taken two takes, as you can see, with a number two. And we shall unpack this to an empty cell to the right, because I want them to exist on the same track. I'm going to move it around, though. I want a first take to come first. Let's double click to see what we've got in the piano roll editor. Everything sounds together in scene one. So I want to create another scene with some of these items here. What shall I use? Let's bring the clap across, the beats across, and the spacey sound that I had created in my quick sampler instrument across. Let's have a quick listen. Let's make a copy of that melodic pattern with the music box that we were given by the step sequencer. Let's have a quick listen to that. two scenes. The second Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.